Hello and welcome back to a very special B&M review. I know I said my last one's going to be my last, but I have picked up the fifth Doctor and Tides from Kay's Undesani. Quite to my surprise, but you know what, I saw it in B&M, not in the usual toy section. They sort of put them near the door for some reason, so I was actually going to turn my head and they never would have got this if I didn't turn my head, but because they were in a really weird area, they weren't in the toy section, but thank God I've got this, because I just absolutely love this set. But anyway, start off with the packaging, like I usually do. So as for the packaging, all the usual apple crumble, you've got the lovely new Dot 2 logo at the top, which is, I've sort of grown to like a bit more, but yeah, gold limited edi edition sticker, exclusive Doctor and TARDIS set with two exclamation marks, as apparently that's exciting, and then on the side you've got with opening doors again, how that is exciting, I don't know, and then on the back you've got a lovely description about Kaysen Dazani, and what I think is the prototype for this Doctor TARDIS that was, um, it nearly came out a couple of years ago, and the regenerated Sixth Doctor figure with the Fifth Doctor's head superimposed on. The backdrop is absolutely lovely, really resembling how Andrazani Minor looked at the end of Kay's Andrazani. Yeah, just a really nice backdrop and great way to display your action figures inside of. So, taking a look at the Fifth Doctor, he isn't anything that special. The mud has been put on quite badly, and they've got this really weird finger splodge thing, which doesn't really resemble mud at all. The figure is basically the 13th Doctor set, Fifth Doctor, but without the celery and with mud thrown all over him, essentially, and the mud ain't that great either. So despite the disappointment in the 5th Doctor figure, the TARDIS more than makes up for it. Because my god, I love this TARDIS. I never thought I would be able to get a stacked roof TARDIS. As originally they were just so hard to get, the 1st and 7th Doctor's TARDIS. I believe this one is based on the 1st Doctor's because it doesn't have the um, little pull to open handle thing. But yeah, I just, I just love this TARDIS. It's also got a new base as well, which is much thinner and yeah... And this was less sticky than they usually are. This is, feels much nicer, which is a really nice thing. It's usually got a sticky feel, but it's still quite sticky, but mine isn't that bad. So I don't know if it's just mine or whether it's all of them, but whatever it is, I don't really care as this TARDIS is possibly one of my favourite TARDIS, if not my favourite in my collection. The only one that I think is slightly better than this is the 12th Doctor's TARDIS, but I just so love this TARDIS. It is amazing. So that is all for today's review of this lovely set. So what would I rate it out of 10? About an 8.5 or a 9 out of 10. Really interesting looking Fifth Doctor, not that accurate. And an amazing looking TARDIS with a beautiful backdrop and really nice looking packaging. So yeah, that's pretty much everything I need to say. Thank you for watching. Like, comment and subscribe. And silence in the library.